Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using timers in your Visual Basic.net projects. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with this now, we're just going to create a new project. It's going to be a Windows Forms project as usual. We're going to call it Timer Test VB. We click OK. And here we are in our basic project. Now the object we're going to be looking at today is called a timer. He's just down here, and we can drag him onto our form like normal. Uh, the difference with this kind of control is it doesn't actually have any visual elements, so in the designer it's going to appear down here. Uh, but it has all the usual things, properties like a normal object, and as usual you can double click on it to write some code. Um, double click on it has created this private sub timer1 underbar tick. And what this does is it fires every time the timer ticks, um, and the timer ticks based on its interval and whether it's enabled. So if we start at the form now, the timer's going to be disabled, it's not going to do anything. If we change this to enabled, it would fire every 100 milliseconds. We can change that to a thousand and then that'll be one second. Uh, I'm going to set this to true, so it's enabled as soon as the form starts and then we're going to go back into the code. Uh, we're going to do something very simple. We're going to check to see if the back colour and that's the back color of the form because this is the forms um, this is the forms code this is all form one code if you look up here it's form one so when we talk about back color directly like this we're actually talking about form one's back color so if we say back color oops, if back color equals color oh, <laughs> gone a bit too far there if back color equals color dot cyan <clears throat> then we're gonna put we're gonna say back color equals and we're gonna change it to red so color dot red and finally we're gonna say else and then we're gonna say Back color uh, equals cyan back color dot cyan. Okay, now if we go ahead and run this, we've both, well actually I'll run you through this first. We're checking to see if the form's back color is equal to cyan. If it is, we're changing the form's back color to red. If it isn't, we're changing it to cyan. So what that'll do is it'll flicker between red and cyan uh, every one second because that's how we set our interval up. So if I go ahead and play, and you'll see it goes to cyan, then it goes to red, then it goes to cyan, then it goes to red. Um, that's really the basics of, of how a timer works. There's some other things you can do with it. So let's say we wanted... Um, if we want to stop this timer through the code, we could say timer one dot enabled equals false. And there we go. If we click play, the timer will only run once. And now the form color is going to start something like a white color. It's going to check to see if it's cyan. It's not going to be cyan, so it's going to go ahead and make it cyan. So we should see that. And then the timer is going to stop. So you can see it goes cyan and then the timer stops and it doesn't swap anymore. Um, another thing I could probably briefly show you, we'll take out that enabled timer line, and we'll put a new line in and we'll say timer1.interval equals timer1.interval plus, oh actually no, we'll make it go faster every time, minus, and we'll take off, uh, let's say 100 at a time. So it should start to go really, really fast. <coughs> and we'll click play. So it should come on and go red, and then it'll get faster and faster and faster and faster, and then it should flicker. Oh, no, it's crashed our program. We've set our interval too low. But you can see how, for example, we could fix this by checking here and say, you know, if the timer's interval is going to be lower than zero then don't do it or something like that but I just want you to see that in code you can stop your timer you can speed your timer up or you can slow your timer down 
Um, and then the rest is up to you. Be as creative as you want to be with this code here. You know, this is just changing the back color. It's not very useful. Maybe you wanted to move something around on screen by setting its position and then maybe checking to see if it's gone too far. You know, you can be, once you get used to using the if, then, else, and ifs, which you'll notice have been put in for me as I typed out my statement, um, you, you'll really be able to make these timers very, very clever. Um, I think I'm just going to leave you there with that. Uh, thanks for watching my tutorial. Uh, if you would like more of the same, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave one at the bottom. Thank you very much.